Something interesting to think about while I'm here at the fruit and veg section here at the supermarket, when we think of pesticides, we usually think about man-made pesticides that are sprayed on our food, right? However, unbeknownst to many people, 99% of the pesticides we consume actually come from the plants themselves. In fact, there are 10,000 times more pesticides by weight in the fruits and vegetables we eat than the pesticides that we actually spray on them. This was shown in the work of the now 95-year-old Professor of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, Dr. Bruce Ames, that the average person is estimated to be consuming about 1.5 grams or around 5 to 10,000 natural pesticides per person per day, which was shown to be carcinogenic when tested in lab animals. Just like humans and other animals, plants have evolved to survive and reproduce. But while animals have fangs or claws or horns or, or hooves to defend themselves, plants have chemicals to defend themselves. These natural toxins and pesticides in plants are designed to stop insects, animals and us from eating them because, well, they don't want to be eaten either and can potentially have an accumulative negative impact on our health. Now this might sound insane to many people because it obviously challenges the whole idea that you better eat your fruits and vegetables because they're good for you. Well it's maybe not exactly how we thought. And sure, we have discovered methods to help deactivate certain plant toxins, such as soaking, sprouting, fermenting, and cooking, but these methods still don't eliminate all of them and can still cause hidden health problems if you are more sensitive to them. So when you see children refusing to eat their vegetables, that just might be an evolutionary resistance to avoid potentially toxic foods.